Hey guys, welcome to Daily Dabble Day 3. I'm Angie. I'm Telly. Yep. And um, our background's a little bit different today. We've been in the studio for your first two videos, but you're stuck at home a lot, and so are we. So we're videoing from home today. Um, okay, so for Day 3, I think you're going to love what you're doing. It's one of those things that you can do over and over and over again. You can um, take this project and carry it around the house with you and do it in different rooms. Yep. Um, it's a great boredom buster. So, um, but I will say this project is maybe just a smidge more complicated than our other projects that we've had so far. So if you're a little younger, you might need some assistance from an adult. But Tully is eight and you can do this just fine on your own, right? So we're it's talking. It's been a really long time. It's been a long time since he's done it. So, and some of you guys that have dabbled with me before, you might recognize this project. Once I start it, it's such a good one that you can't do it too too often. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. You are gonna need your piece of cardboard. Okay, so find that in your box. And if you don't have a dabble box, any kind of cardboard you can find around the house will work. Um, and you just kind of want to cut it into a square or circles, fine too. Um, and then you are going to need seven pieces of yarn, okay? Now this yarn, I cut it pretty long for you guys. I wanted to make sure you had plenty. But if your yarn's too long and it's like hard for you to do the weaving because it's so long, you can always trim it down a little bit. The, now the ends, you want them to be kind of matched up on one end, okay? But See on the side they're all different lengths that's no big deal they can be different lengths but on the top you want them kind of matched up all together okay so we've got cardboard we've got yarn you are going to want to find a pair of scissors somewhere in your house we need some scissors and then something to mark with like um, a pencil or a marker or something like that okay can work, can work. anything that will make a mark okay so go ahead and round up your supplies and we're going to get started All right, so we are all set to go. Um, your cardboard, you are going to need to get a hole in the middle of the cardboard. So you might want to ask an adult for help with this. The easiest way to do this is to take your cardboard and fold it in half. Take your scissors and just kind of do a real short cut and another short cut this way. And, and then you've got your this. hole in the middle, okay? Perfect. All right, now also with your scissors and on your cardboard, you want to cut eight slits around the edges. So what I mean by that is you're going to cut into the cardboard a little bit and stop. So you're going to do it two, two times on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if you need to pause this and catch up, so be it. Yep, if you need to pause the video to catch up, you certainly can. But that's what you need to do. You need those eight slits, and then you're going to use whatever it is you have to mark with, and you're going to number those, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now, Tully, do you want to grab your yarn? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Remember, we want um, the ends to kind of match up evenly on one side. And what you're going to do is you are going to tie a nice thick knot in the end of this. Okay, so if you need help from an adult to tie a knot, you can do that. So you want to keep all of your pieces of yarn together, <laughs> and you're going to tie a knot. Keep it all together, just like that. Can you do it, Tully? Thanks. You need a little help? That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to help Tully. It is hard to keep all these pieces of yarn together. It you is. have seven, buddy? Uh, One, two, I have three, four, five. Plus six. Six. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Here's an orange one. We'll just use that. All right. 
just tell us seven pieces of yarn. That is very important. You got to make sure you have seven. Okay, good. So there's his seven. I'm going to go ahead and tie it in a knot. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do next is you're going to hold your cardboard, take your knot, and it's going to go down there, down inside like a little bunny going into a burrow. It is tail sticking out. Yeah. Pull it all the way through though. Get the tail down in there and everything. Good. Okay. So now, okay. So now that we have our knot down in the hole, you're going to take your yarn one strand at a time and you are going to pop it into each one of these little slits on your cardboard. Now we have seven pieces of yarn and we have eight slits. So what that means is that you are going to have one that is empty. Okay. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Okay. So now we have our weaving loom all ready to go. And so on the top, it should look like this. And then on the bottom, you have the knot sticking out and then all these really, really long pieces of string. But the whole time that we're doing this, this side is going to be up. Okay. Now, uh, this gets a little bit tricky, so just do your best to follow along, okay? All right, so what we're going to do, I want you to put your finger on the empty slit, okay? And then you're going to count one, two, three. Now, pick up that piece of yarn, get it out of the slit, and move it to the empty one. Yep, you got it. Oh, there you go. Yep. So try to push yours over here so everybody can see you too. Okay, now go to the empty one again. Put your finger on it. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, and then you got to count this count back the same way. So we, in other words, we can't go this way and then go that way and then pick a pick a direction you want to go and you always have to count that way. One, so ready? We're going to keep it here and then I'm going to go one, two, three. Take that one out and then pop it in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so my empty one is two. Yeah, so I'm putting my finger on two. Four. Yep, everybody's is going to be different. That's okay. And then we're going to count back. One, two, two three. three. And I'm going to pick that string up out. Wait. Pick it up out of there. Okay. Hold on, that's not three. Where's your, wait, where's your empty one? Four. Four. Okay, oh, ready? Jesus. Yeah. One, two, three. Get out. Move it up to your empty one. All right. Pop it in there. Good. All right. Fine. Okay. And again, empty one. One, two, three. Pull it out and pop it in there. Oh my gosh. Now you got to be sure to pull it all the way out and pop it all the way in. Got it, bud? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go again. Here's my empty. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. So that's our pattern, okay? Keep finding the empty one and counting one, two, three. Pick it up, pop it down. Empty one, one, two, three. Pick it up, pick it in the empty one. Hey, okay. I finally got more made. Yeah, that's good. Now, you're going to do this for a while, and it's going to seem like nothing is happening. It takes a little time to show some results, but they will come, all right? So I'm going to weave a little bit longer. I'm going to pause my video and weave it a little bit longer for you guys so you can see what's going to start happening. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay, so after you've been weaving for a while, and it does take a while, you've got to be patient, it's going to start to come out the other end like this. 
so That's cool. Neat. It's my mission. Well, I weave a little faster, yeah, so Tully's true. isn't quite there yet, but you can see it starting. Wow. Okay, look, Tully, it's starting. See that? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's starting. You just got to keep going. Um, now, as you're weaving up top and you're just going along, going along, you might not notice how tangled up it's getting yeah. on the bottom, and it's really not a problem. Just every once in a while, you might want to kind of stop weaving and just run your fingers through this yarn to untangle it. But you're just going to keep going and keep weaving. And by the time we're done, you can use this as a key ch chain or a bracelet um, or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and pause my video and keep weaving until I have mine done. And then I'll tune back in with you guys. Great. Okay. So I have been weaving for a while now. And you can see the result here. Um, now... Some of you are going to weave really quick, and some of you might take your time a little bit more, okay? Tully, as you can see, stopped for some snacks. He's got some pretzels here. He's been snacking and weaving. Um, now, if for those of you that get really into this, you might sit there and weave for 30, 45 minutes and just not stop weaving. Some of you guys are going to weave for five minutes and then think, oh, I'm going to go do something else for a little while and come back to it. Either way you do it, it's fine. Now, I still have strings. Uh, left but I'm looking at this and I'm going it's pretty long I think I can use it for a bracelet at this point so what I'm gonna do is take it out of the loom Tully's isn't quite long enough yet so he's gonna leave his and continue to work on his at another time or maybe I could like make this a, cheek, a keychain maybe or you can make it a keychain yeah it doesn't have to be long enough to be a bracelet or if you wanted to make it super long and keep going and Make it a necklace, you could. I'll make a bracelet. I mean, I'll make okay. it a keychain. So, just like we did on this end, we need to tie a knot right here. Okay? Now, I don't need all this extra yarn, so I'm going to go ahead and just maybe cut some of that off. Oh, yeah. But I still want to make sure that I have enough to tie my knot. So... For you? Oh, you're done with yours? Yeah. yeah, you can cut there. So there's the end of mine. And then, Kelly, can I see your wrist? Yeah. You can attach this any way you want. You can tie all the yarn together. go and then we can even snip off some of this excess yarn hold on to that because you might want to use it for another art project to come up with at yeah, home so there's my bracelet all right guys thank you for joining us for daily dabble day three um, as you know, I need to give you a challenge. So your challenge today, after you've made a weaving for yourself, is to then make another one and give it to a friend or a family member. You could even mail one if you've got a friend from school that you're thinking you're going to really be missing. This would be a really nice reminder of your friendship. So you can make a bracelet or a keychain or a necklace or whatever you want to turn this into. If you've got a cat at home, your cat might even like to play with it. Oh, <clears throat> so your challenge is to make an extra weaving for somebody and give it away. Um, now, like I said, this one is a little bit more tricky. So for those of you at home that are feeling a little frustrated by it, that's okay. My suggestion to you is just keep trying. We've all got lots of time on our hands to learn something new. Um, so just have fun with this. And if you need help from an adult, ask for some help. And just keep practicing and you'll get better and better at it and faster and faster. Practice okay? makes perfect. So be sure to do your, da your daily dabble challenge if you should choose to do that. And don't forget to post pictures of your art um, or your challenge with hashtag daily dabble day three. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.